Welcome! Today I decided to upload a new game. This time it's a beginner's guide on this game. So, we're going to control army 2. So, the reason why I'm uploading this video is because I do not find a lot of videos or I haven't found any video that talks about a beginner's guide. And I was not guided throughout this game and I didn't have any help. So I'm here to help you. So, what to begin? Now, you join over here, you claim uh, this, and you're gonna have uh, this thing over here. Now, when you, you're you gonna find this one slot, and when you're gonna use item, you're gonna find a, either a magic crystal or a barrack. Now, magic crystal are crucial. You can find one right over here, and you can find like a lot of them around the map. You have to search for them. And there are codes in the game. So, I'm gonna give you some codes that will help you. Okay, let's begin with the first code. Hello Halloween. This is a Halloween event code and it will help you. Oops. Now, I already redeemed it, so let's move on to the second code that you need to use. The second code is Mount Spook. I already redeemed it, but seems like it's invalid anymore, but I don't know. The second code is whatever this is. Well, let's go to the third code. Third code is sewer. As you can see, a lot of them I have redeemed. Use the fourth code, shut down. I don't think I've ever redeemed it, but I think it's invalid anymore. And here's update one. Some of them don't work, so I don't know if they will work, but try them out. Now next is Oasis, it's also invalid. We have another code called Mushrooms. You would find other codes, there is another code called Big Tree, and I already redeemed it. And here's Mount Shop, it turns out it doesn't work. And here's River. And the release. And I already redeemed it. Okay, these are all the codes that you need to use, but some of them won't work, some of them will work. I don't know. Anyways, let's go on. Uh, let's continue. Okay, now on to our second tip. These. These dispensers. So you have to join the group so you could uh, get them, and each, uh, and each round, over there, like each map, will have a dispenser for you. And they're five minutes, and they will give you a lot of gold. And I swear this is gonna help you if you're like down on a lot of gold, and it will actually improve your skills in the game. Now, you can use these teleporters to travel around, and you can actually travel. Now, these dispensers will actually help you so you could buy more bags and more uh, more tools. Soldier barracks, uh, will, you can buy them and it will increasingly get uh, higher and higher in price until it will cap at 300,000. Yes, it will cap at 300,000. Now, I have an advice. Don't waste your money on a lot of wands or backpacks. It will be useless. I recommend you waste uh, your money on barracks and uh, and getting magic crystals, gathering them from codes, and searching around the map, and just start spending them. Also, don't gamble all your crystals on just one soldier. Use it all equally on every single soldier. Now, okay. Third is uh, doing the Tom's quest. Tom's quests are pretty useless, to be honest. So, do them at the beginner game, and then you get over here, and you can grind the golems. Which will actually give you five, it will try to give you stone and gems. Gems, you have to like gather 3,000 of them. Trust me, keep uh, saving up for them. And keep grinding this guy until he gives you a lot of money because he will. And he has a chance to drop this perk or the magic crystal. And also, perks are important because you can actually use them on your uh, own uh, soldiers, as you can see here. Why are perks important? Because they can give you damage and health. Some of them even have uh, another perk, which is uh, plus one uh, percent HP when attacking trees. Yeah. As there for this, it gave me extra damage. Now, 
this is important. So when you get an epic or a legendary, do not change it. They are perfect. That's your guide on uh, them. Wait. Let's begin with the guide on all of the... What do you call them? Soldiers? Yeah. Which ones are the best and which ones are not the best? So, you're sitting here and wondering, what type of uh, soldier should I get? Well, you have the index right here, which is free. Even for uh, enemies that you do not unlock. What do you mean? Now you got a lot of these and you even got this mythic. Now this mythic is the best, not in the game. And you got uh, specials. Now you can get the special from a quest and this one you have to buy with Robux. You'll also have a soldier category for the Halloween soldiers. Already got a special from the Bob, uh, from the skeleton Bob. Well, we'll go back to the Halloween soldiers in a minute, but right now let's focus. So you start off with uh, only these basic soldiers. You should do not have any abilities on other worst. So try changing them into a common. Both soldiers are very good because they can uh, give you this ability. Punch soldiers are also good to deal a lot of damage. And knights, they just drop you like defense uh, only. And sold soldier, he's not good for the times 2 damage, I'd say get a bow soldier because he will give it times 2 damage for all the soldiers. This one it will give times 2 for only soldiers who use uh, swords. And that's only the knight and uh, sword over here. And uh, the spear soldier, he's useless. Trust me, he'll just give you 50% damage for soldiers that use spear. Unless you have a lot of spear soldiers, get him. Battery soldiers are gonna be important until you get to either this epic energy burst soldier or the legendary energy soldier. Reflector is important. I recommend you have him at the, the early game because he's good. Look at this. Now for the legendaries, do not gamble your life away to get them. They are the most useful ones, but trust me, do not gamble your life just to get them. I recommend you just save up for rares and epics until you get good. Also, when you get the bowmaster soldier who's an epic, uh, you can get uh, you can get the common bow soldier away. Like you can get him away. Anyways, this is all for the normal soldiers, and uh, the swordmaster soldier he will give you this crazy ability. I recommend you get him a lot because I have him like a lot over here, as you can see. I have this soldier right over here. And also, leveling up your soldiers, do not worry about using uh, your items. At first, you can like use uh, all these to level them up, like you can waste it all. But f trust me, killing mobs will level them up with like a lot more. Like, I haven't fed them a lot, and they still leveled up uh, more. This is for the soldiers, the normal soldiers right here. Also, if you have like a lot of Robux, I would really do recommend you buy the Golem and the Times 2 resources. Times 2 XP, not a lot, I don't think so, but by but better luck, that is amazing. Sprint is also useless, Times 2 materials is super good. And uh, Times 2 conversion, yeah, it's not that good, like you kind of convert real fast, It's and you're not going to convert a lot in the game, so it's useless to buy it. Times 2 control range, uh, yeah, this is good if you want to like AFK a boss and he has long range. This is useless, don't buy it. Anyways, let's go to the quests. Now, you're gonna see Tom over here and you're gonna think, wow, this NPC might have a quest line. Yeah, he doesn't, he just has repetitive uh, quests which are so annoying. And you will not even progress in the game if you do them. Same thing for all the NPCs in the other areas. S yeah, don't do their quests, just use us. You can do it if you want like a challenger to pass the time, but trust me, you don't want to do it because it's useless. Hmm. Anyways, except for two soldiers or two other NPCs that actually give you a quest line. Or three, I'm sorry. The first one is the Pumpkin Warrior, which is actually the most fun one. I recommend you do it, but not early game. Because his questline was so fun to do. 
And uh, when you do his quest line, you actually unlock Mount Spook over here. And uh, you will actually reach the graveyard where you will talk to another NPC called the Darker Revival, which actually has a lore behind him that nobody knows. Let me show you. So you walk right over here, you jump over here. Yeah, these are transparent, but don't worry about falling through them. You get over here, and you're going to see the Dark Energy. And you're going to do a quest for the Skeleton Ball Fracture, which is uh, the best uh, warrior in the game currently. This quest is easy. And now there's another one. Let me show you. There's another one that I still am not obtained. I am doing his quest line and I finished it. The Lord of the Sands, the 15 white flowers, which is the boss, and the 3600 seconds end uh, in game, which is actually an hour in game. Why did I go here? What the hell? No. Okay, let me show you where you get that quest line, but yeah, you won't get that quest line anytime soon. You go to the 20 uh, area and you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna go all the way over there. You're going to find this guy over here, the Force Protector. The Force Protector was the previous best uh, best soldier in the game. Now I finished this quest by doing 3,000 super premium currency, which is why I recommend you guys save up for them. Also, the trick or treat houses give you like 30, have a chance to give you 30 gems, which I recommend you save up and stop wasting them without even knowing. Now. Let's go to the crystals. So you start grinding and you finally got five soldiers. Now you're gonna walk in and you're gonna see all these mushrooms, but you're gonna go to the shops and you're gonna find this beautiful magic crystal shop. And then you're gonna buy this. And you're gonna see it's rising up every time you buy it. And you're going to be like, oh no, I have to save up, I cannot buy them a lot. Well, here's some good feature. Each day it resets to 10k. Which is amazing. This is the best feature that has ever happened. And each time you buy it, it only increases like 1k only. No matter how many ones you buy, it will only increase 1k. Which is actually good. And the magic crystal is very important because it will can actually give you all those rarities except for the special. From mythic to, to common. Yeah, it won't give you a basic soldier, trust me. It's only the barracks that give you the basic soldier. And you can actually buy these, uh, you can actually go in here and buy the wands and backpacks. Trust me, ignore the backpacks. The backpacks, uh, just buy them when you have like spare money. But the most important thing about the barracks, when you have uh, the money, always buy it when you are free. Do not waste it on like uh, gear like this. Oh, speaking of gear. So, you might have seen this shop right over here, the gear shop. Yeah. Buy these. Just buy them, trust me, you need them. And after that you have to go uh, buy a lot of soldiers. Just keep focusing on soldiers, that's it. Just focus on soldiers and perks and keep killing the pigs and golems and everything. You're gonna get perks. Okay. Let's continue. Oh wow, you finally unlocked uh, the 15 soldiers uh, area, also known as the desert. You're gonna walk over here, you're gonna see the dispenser, the trick or treat. Oh my god, what is this? Well, I'll tell you, it's a clue. Yeah. So you're gonna have three pillars right over here that have disappeared, and each one of them has 10k uh, health. There's gonna be one behind there. You destroy all of them, and this guy spawns, also known as Lord of the Sands, which is now being known as the best way to grind money. Why? Let's see. I'm not gonna fight him right now, but he gives 45,000 coins each time you kill him, which is a lot. But if you use, uh, if you go to your items and you find the 100% gold and the 50% gold, and you use both of them and actually kill him, you get 127,000, 125,000 uh, gold. Which each time you kill him, and you have to go back and destroy the three pillars, then go back and kill him again, and he will keep giving you that much money and uh, you can actually make 500,000 in 7 minutes if you have like uh, a way to kill him very fast. Some people, I even got to 2 million easily because of him. Which is why he's the best. 
So he's the best uh, money grinding, and he gives you this perk right over here. This one. This is an epic perk. And it can actually give you a lot of damage and health for your soldiers, which is important. And also you're going to notice that shop over there. Now the desert shop is very important for you in case that you want uh, gear and perks. Perk slots, you can actually buy them. You can actually buy those two, which forget about them. Yes, listen, skip the purple one and only buy the energy war bit because you're going to be making a lot of money to the point that you can actually buy it easily. Also, the best AFK method to make a lot of money if you like to AFK a lot is uh, to go up to this uh, pharaoh, get to his left or his right side and go down here and start attacking him and turn on an auto clicker while you keep spamming him. And uh, you will actually kill him a lot and he's not hitting me also. But unlike me, I like to just go around and collect items while he is dying. Now, you might have noticed something. You see these two abilities, right? The Pyramid Defense and White Flower Heal. The Pyramid Defense, you can actually get it, uh, it's a skill right over here. But you can actually get it from the fair if you kill him a lot. Which I actually did because of AFK grinding. But what about the White Flower Heal? Now my friends, I'm sorry that we did not check out the 10 uh, soldiers area, now we will. Hold on. You're gonna get over here and you're gonna see this waterfall that does not have anything behind it because it's useless. And you find uh, these two items and you're gonna buy them. You're gonna ignore the backpacks and you're going to buy the wand only. Ignore the backpacks. Trust me, just ignore it. And you're gonna find this white flower over here, which can actually give you a chance to give you an epic crystal. And it only has 10,000 uh, health. And the pyramid uh, defense makes them, uh, makes you and all your soldiers literally infinite health. Or immortal. But the white flower here, as you guessed, will heal you. And uh, you also get the white flower here from the own uh, white flower, which is a rare draw. And you can actually use both these abilities. Which is important. Oh, also, these are also mobs that also give you perks. These other golems give you perks. Anything that is alive gives you perks. Now, you're gonna go to the last area after you unlocked it. So, let's say you finally unlock 21 soldiers and you finished it, and then you're gonna go up here. And uh, when you're walking, just exploring the final area, you're going to realize something. Wait, there's a big hole over here. 22 soldiers. Eh, I can buy another barrack. You get over here. Now this for me was 5 million, but it used to be 3 million. You have to pay 3 million to get to the third, uh, to the last area. And then you have to pay 300,000 again, so you have to pay 3.3 million for uh, coins just to get to this area. And what is this the and what is this area? The sewers. So you're gonna find the teenage mutant turtles over here. And you're gonna find these clues. Make sure you memorize uh, where each one of them. So the green is on the top, the left. Oh yeah, you're gonna go around here. And you're gonna find this area and you're gonna find all this so as we saw the green was on the top left now let's check out all the other clues so we could see where the other uh, stuff are you're gonna have slimes over here barricades and trash collect the slime and trash they're just the best items ever here's the red one which is top uh, right okay top right for the red one Let's search uh, for others. Also, you're gonna find the shop right over here, the sewer shop, which you can actually up uh, upgrade your teleporter. Currently, I'm on the third upgrade, and I can buy the fourth upgrade, but I won't. Uh, yeah, this don't buy it. I know it's gonna be tempting, but you can actually get a better wand. You buy the sewer boots and the sewer helmet, then buy the sewer backpack because I never seen anyone buy it. Here's the blue, uh, bottom left. 
So you can only just search like for three uh, clues and just be done with it. Just three clues and the last one, which is yellow that we did not find, we can just guess it, which is easy. Yeah, don't bother searching for all four papers, just search for all three of them and just continue your journey. Okay, let's start guessing it. No, oh my god. Hold on. Am I dyslexic? Hold on, I'll be back. Yeah, apologies, this is what the code was. And you're gonna get this big guy over here which has 125 health. But I won't fight for the sake of this video because I'm tired. Anyways, this is all for the overworld. Now let's get with the Halloween event for you guys. So. You stumble over here. This is gonna be like for the advanced people who or mid-game people. So you're gonna enter this area and you're gonna find all this. So here's the first thing that you're supposed to do. First, you're gonna have to talk to this guy and claim his quests. And you're gonna have to claim all the trick-or-treat houses because they can give you things that are good. Thank you for giving me 30 gems. And also, you're gonna have to kill the spider which can actually give you a lot of uh, perks. And also, Outside it, over here at this sign, you're gonna notice something that is the one hit equals one damage, which you finally realize that your damage is lower over here. But the Halloween perks, uh, Halloween perks increase your damage. This is why you have to kill the spiders in order to get a lot of perks to put it on every single one of your goddamn soldiers. Trust me, it's annoying. Now, you're going to have to destroy like 10 pumpkins right now because I have to tell you something after you gather all the perks for the, what do you call it, for the, from the spider. Okay, so you're supposed to destroy 10 pumpkins and basically it will summon the monster pumpkin. And the monster pumpkin is uh, the second best boss in the game because he gives you amazing stuff. Hold on. Last one. Yes. And here's the monster pumpkin. I wish I knew this earlier that uh, you have to destroy 10 pumpkins so you could uh, kill him. And now here's what he does. Attack and yeah be careful because he one shots you. And get in the middle and start collecting and killing him as fast as you could. And uh, start collecting all the other stuff and uh, start killing him as fast as you can. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna get to the other soldiers in a bit. Like, the Halloween soldiers, after we kill him, and introduce to you everything that is in here. But yeah, press R so you could, like, defend it. But all my soldiers got annihilated by him. Hold on, I stunned him. Okay. Yeah, keep fighting this boss, and he has a small chance to drop his legendary perk, which is considered to be the best perk in the game, behind King uh, the Ghost of Luke. So, yeah, he also drops the perks that is absolutely good, and I recommend you grind for them if you're like, don't have any time, and I died. Amazing. Wow. And he's dead, but I did not get any perks. Can I respawn? Please? Hold on. Amazing ping. Now, let's go back over here. 
So after you finish this guy's quest, you're gonna unlock Mount Spook, and you can jump over here, and you're gonna find this giant ass tree. And you can actually destroy this tree, and it's less health and less problems than the Mount Spook one. I mean the Monster Pumpkin one, and to keep killing it and collecting the perks from it, because I already have perks from it over here, and it's actually good. Now you're gonna notice this area over here, which is also the graveyard area. And you're gonna notice this black orb over here, which can actually give you the skeleton bob, which is the best, uh, the best soldier in the game currently. Anyways, yeah, get away from that. This is a scam. Trust me. You're gonna find King Luke over here, but how do you summon him? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the best method of making candy corn and it's destroying this tombstone over and over again because it will give you 5,000 candy corn. Yes, I'm not kidding. This is the best way to make it. And it will respawn again. Oh yeah, destroying the tombstone summons uh, King Luke, but I suggest you ignore him if you want to grind for candy corn and just keep destroying the tombstone. Because it will give you like a lot of candy corn. I'd say a, a day of grinding which gets you like 5 million candy corn, which is very good. And also, I recommend before you grind this event to get the Force Protector and not be like me, who's an idiot and wasted all his money on this. <sighs> I'm actually pissed off. Anyways, here's King Luke, which can actually give you a perk, a legendary perk, but he's too powerful. Which is why I'm not gonna fight him alone. I recommend you grind King Luke with friends or with three other people. You can go to the Discord server and ask for grind mates. Or see people who want to grind King Luke and grind with them. Anyways, let's go to the Halloween shop so I can explain everything. So, the Halloween shop contains about five items in it. One of them is the Halloween crystal which gives you only Halloween uh, soldiers. Or here, and and if you want to buy 25 of it, it will be 62,000, and you have to get 50 of each and 125 gems. Don't waste it if you did not get Force Protector. Also, you're gonna have this Halloween wand, which you're gonna realize. Wait, what the fuck? You're gonna have this Halloween wand, which you're gonna realize you wasted your money on it. It was useless. And you're gonna have the Halloween boots, which you can buy, and the Halloween backpack. Don't get the Halloween backpack unless if you're end game like me. And the Halloween helmet. And the pumpkin one, people don't know how to unlock it. Now, this is why you do not buy this. Because turns out, if you, how do you get this? You have to defeat the giant pumpkin. That's it. All you have to do is defeat. There's nothing else. After you defeat it, you come to the Halloween shop and you're going to have this equip, uh, equip option. That's it. It's not going to have buy or waste or anything. It's just going to be there. That's what you're going to get when you uh, defeat the pumpkin monster. That's it. Now, let's go to, over the Halloween, uh, the Halloween soldiers. Finally, this is the Halloween soldiers. You go to the index, go to the soldier categories, and you're gonna go to the Halloween soldiers. You're gonna find the, the two basics. Now, about the Halloween crystal, it's the first ever crystal. Well, it is the first ever event crystal because the game is new. But it's the first ever crystal for you to summon basic soldiers because the normal uh, crystal does not give you soldiers basic soldiers I mean only come to mythic and here's what the candy collector does and uh, here's what the pumpkin uh, thrower does I am not gonna read it you guys can pause and read it here's the common skeleton bob over here and uh, here's the ghost uh, which turns out this does not work vampire right over here and uh, you're gonna have the hybrid. And you're gonna have the hybrid bat over here. Now you're gonna have the epic uh, hybrid spider over here. And I suggest you get a lot of him because he's good. And you're gonna have uh, his second ability over here. Now the legendary. This is what you need to get your entire army out of. That's it. That's it. Now, and now because he's super good. And you're gonna have the mythic, which you need at least one, but he used to be the best because of how much damage he does. Look at this. Now, 
how do you get the best uh, hive? Now, you see this uh, energy soldier over here? Yeah, you need only two of them, and the rest you need skull crushers, and, uh, and uh, the rest... Now listen. Okay, let me get, go back from the beginning. You only need two energy soldiers, all the special uh, soldiers, and two of the mythic soldiers right over here. Hold on, my index. You need uh, this uh, soldier and this soldier, and both uh, the specials over here. Unless if you don't have Robux, get this special and get this other special. And uh, the rest, just fill them with Skull Crushers, because Skull Crushers is gonna, just going to be infinite stunning. We'll just uh, stun them infinitely. That's uh, how you get the best one. Now, this is the entire guide for this uh, game, 